Hi, this is Jonathan Gardner. Uh, this, I covered Sergey Lang's basic mathematics in a series. I don't know how many videos there were. I know that it took me over a year to cover it. And I just wanted to kind of reflect and review on what I've learned by lecturing on the book and what I hope you learned learning algebra. The first thing that you should have learned is that the story of math is much more than algebra and numbers or shapes or triangles or anything like that. There's a pattern to how math textbooks work. Typically, they introduce a new concept. They give you exercise problems to see if you understand that concept. And then what they're gonna do is they're gonna build on that concept and give you techniques to use that concept without actually using the underlying, you know, the, the, the mechanisms that you need to solve that construct, okay? And the story of algebra, the story of numbers, the story of matrices, the story of vectors, everything points to this, this unifying theory that you're, you're just hopefully now starting to grasp. There's something about numbers, there's something about shapes, there's something about symbols that you can combine these in different ways. And there's only so many ways you can combine these. There's only so many different kinds of rules. And we've been exposed to several different types of rules. But, you know, multiplication, addition, we have, um, what, uh, we have the dilations and rotations, we have translations, we have, um, uh, what else do we cover? We covered like sine and cosine, we covered logarithms and exponents, we covered uh, determinants, and all these different things, they all kind of fit together in this, this grand tapestry that brings, like all of these concepts are really the same thing. It's like, it's like the same voice speaking uh, different parts of the same song. You know, and you can tell that that there's there's some kind of thread that pulls all this together. And so that that thread to me is what we would call group theory. So if you want to study and really take this to the next level, go look up some lectures on group theory. Um, I forget the name of the guy, but there's a lecturer. You just go look on group theory. There's a guy that has lectures. They're about an hour long each. A fantastically beautiful series that you, once you start to watch those videos and you go back and remember the things you learned from this book, you're going to go like, holy cow. Sergey Lang was a genius, okay? Uh, another thing that you should have gotten out of this book is that mathematics is much more than computation, right? So Sergey Lang, from the very beginning, he was speaking to you in a language of theorems, of theories, of proofs, of axioms, right, of assumptions. And he's trying to train you to develop that sense. Like everybody has a sense of logic. They have a sense that you know, that these statements are somehow connected together by some logical transformations. And so hopefully, having been exposed to so many theorems and so many proofs, you now have confidence in developing your own skill to not just understand new proofs, but maybe even develop your own. And especially, I, I hope that as you solve the problems in this book, that you went past the technique stage and you started to grasp the, the power of using proofs to solve problems, right? And so in higher level mathematics, you're gonna find that the problems, um, some of the problems are computations. You know, it's like find the dot product of these two things, blah, 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 blah. Most of the problems are gonna be like, okay, so I've given you, I've whetted your appetite, I've given you a little bit of hints on some new theory or some new idea. I want you to take this idea and run with it and see where it can go. Okay, and if you want to get into theoretical physics, to physics, if you want to go into advanced physics, you need to have the sense. You need to have the sense of taking an idea and expanding upon it and building on it. Um, the last thing that I wanted you to get out of this series was confidence. Um, it really bothers me when I hear people say that they're bad at math. Okay, you're not bad at math. You just don't know math. You haven't learned it yet. Nobody taught it to you properly. Maybe you had some teachers in the past that tried to teach you a concept and when you failed to grasp it they got angry or upset or they gave up okay maybe you yourself have tried to master a concept and uh, you felt frustrated because it didn't come as easily as other things have come okay math is not easy okay but it is very possible anybody and i really do think anybody can understand the basic concepts of math okay obviously People have questions. They say, why? Why should I learn math? Why should I learn these techniques? Um, my feeling is that uh, if you're not in it for the challenge itself, then hopefully you're in it for the curiosity, right? Um, math, pure mathematics, when I look at mathematicians and what they're doing, they're just playing games. You know, they're just exploring the universe of logic and they have a playground. And when I see mathematicians talk to each other, it really does look like, you know, 
two fans of a game getting together and showing off the techniques that they learned to, to play the game, you know. Um, if you are in a physics field or a chemistry field and you're, you have to learn math, right? Um, math is more like the language. It's what we use to communicate with ourselves. It's what we use to communicate with the universe. For some reason, and we don't really understand why, and it's way beyond the scope of physics to even ask this question. For some reason, the, the properties of the universe conform with the properties of mathematics, right? I don't, I don't have this faintest idea on why that could possibly be the way, way it is, but it is. If you really want to understand how the universe behaves, you need to understand math. If you want to understand chemistry, if you want to understand biology, if you want to understand any field, you have to learn how to apply mathematics to it to describe it in mathematical language. Anyway, so... I don't have anything more else to add other than if I could, I would print out a reward certificate that you can put on your wall. Um, maybe I should sell a t-shirt or something like I completed basic mathematics, but I want you to carry your head high. Okay. I want you to walk out of this series saying I can do math. This is something that's totally possible for me. All of the advanced mathematics is not much more difficult than this. It really is not right. Um, I told my kids when they were studying math that when they got to about the fifth grade in the Singapore math series, it was really hard. And I had a hard time solving those problems too. And the reason why it was hard was because I didn't, I wasn't able to use the tools that I learned to solve hard problems like that. Well, now you have the tools. You have the ability to take a problem and say, yeah, I can plug and chug and compute, or I can apply these simple principles and these theorems, and I can tease the solution out of it without doing much work at all. Like uh, in the last section, one of the last sections, there's like determine the, find the determinants of these matrices. And if you remember the, the properties, you can look at the matrix and go, oh, that one's zero, or that one's this, you know? And it should be really easy to pick it out rather than sitting down and trying to plug and chug. So math from now on, I would say gets easier it gets more fun, it gets more interesting, it gets more powerful, right? Um, everything up until before basic mathematics hopefully was a slog, and from here on out, it will no longer be a slog. So that is one of the things I want you to do is, is tell yourself that you are now somebody who can do math. You are now somebody who understands math. If there's something you don't know, you can go look it up, you can read the theorem, you can think about it for a while and struggle with it, like you did with all the topics you learned in this subject, right? They're really not much more complicated than that. So with that, I leave you my gratitude, I leave you my support. And if you have any questions on where to go, if you have anything you want to talk about in the topic of math or physics or whatever, you can find me on Discord. Hey guys, hope you have a great day. Take care and bye-bye. This video was part of my series on basic mathematics by Sergey Lang. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell, like and share this video. You can find me on Discord and support me on Patreon. Thanks a million.